So, we're at the start of the walk. Let me introduce you. Alex Kavan. <laughs> Kelly Neely. Mihai Toma. Yours truly. And our wonderful camera crew. So this is one of the famous markers for Via Transylvanica. I love the fact it's right by the station. Because we will hop off the train and start the walk. And we're going to follow these, aren't we? All the way to Tachelasse Social, Where we hope to arrive on Wednesday evening uh, in time for dinner on a palinka. Mm. We don't get lost. Uh, let's right, do it. Let's do it. The I'm really excited about this because we've got Colleen who is one of the leading experts in Romania on tourism. He's president of the Hotels Association, knows this country inside out. We've got Alex who is a dedicated conservationist. We've got Mihai who is a, a really incredible musician and will be inspiring us with sound and song. So we're going to have some great conversations. We're going to try to see what we can come up with in terms of ideas for Romania. It's going to be exciting. Brainstorming. Like a British gentleman, sorry. Or do it like a, do it like a British gentleman. Like a guy that knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's easy. It's, it's easier easy. than it looks. Yeah. It's very important to close this yeah. in the end because these are fences for animals. Yeah, so absolutely. Every traveler should, should always should, close should the mind gauge. the way and uh, the gauge is open, leave it open. If it's closed, leave yeah, it closed. Yeah, right. Whatever state it's in, it's, it stays that way. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, into the forest, guys. I like these enclosures. Yeah. That way. This way, yeah. Charlie, I've got a mushroom for you. Oh. <laughs> uh, those. Shall we have them uh, tonight? I'll tell you why we probably shouldn't do that. Mm. Those are the original magic mushrooms of children's storybooks. And the Siberians eat them. They consume them in the winter because they have very long winters. They get very bored. So they eat these and they have hallucinogenic right. properties, they give you visions. But the, they also have a lot of toxins, so what they do is they feed them to the reindeer and then they drink the reindeer urine and that way they regulate the dose. And the reindeer also filter out some of the less fortunate side effects like tunnel vision, nausea, that kind of thing. But um, some people do, shamans um, ingest them for, you know, visions and kind of spiritual journeys. But the way I think they do it is they dry it and then they make it into a tea. Right. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. Hmm. Amanita muscaria, the active ingredient in that is called muscimol. But they don't know how much each mushroom contains, and that's why it has to be made into a tea. Because you could quite easily kill yourself eating one. So, but, uh, so not for tonight. Not for tonight, I think, probably, no. But uh, do you know what? Yeah. Santa Claus story comes from this shaman uh, Well, because he wears ritual. red and white. Because they were, they were drying the, the, the red the mushrooms onto the uh, leaves of the trees, of the yeah. branches. Okay. They were leaving the mushrooms there to dry in the sun. Mm -hmm. They were collecting with a bag. Yeah. And during the winter time, they were, eating. they were giving to the people as a ritual. Yeah. If they were feeling good uh, with themselves and with uh, their relatives, okay. they, will, they would uh, ingest, the mushroom. ingest it and then have the ex some it, ritual experience. Is that why Santa Claus wears red and white suit? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so of that. Not Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and this is why the old uh, that globes. Look at that one. That's one. Yeah. Beautiful. The old globes that you the um, garments, the things that you put into the tree yeah, yeah. at uh, in your home, uh, like in the pine uh, tree. Uh, yeah. There was like old mushrooms in the form of the mushrooms, yeah. red mushrooms. These ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, be before they were like uh, round here. Yeah. We lost a lot of this information. You know? It's all been lost.
<laughs> Alex. Yeah. So, <laughs> when did you decide to become a climber? Is this something you always did? In a way, you know, the, the, the mountains and the, the nature always have been a part of my, I don't know how to say, my interior landscape. Yeah. Say. So first for me was my connection with the forest and with the nature, generally not with the mountain. Do you know that in Fogarashli mountains, in the valley that I was growing up, it, it's this fish that dates from 65 million years ago, so it's like a living fossil. It's called Romanichtis Vulsanicola, Vulsanicola from the Vulsan River. Yeah. So it has been discovered by a, a student of biology in the 50s of yeah. the last century. And initially it was in Argesh, yeah. uh, Vulsan and Ruldwamne. So the, basically it was the three parallel rivers and nowhere in the else on the planet. And nowhere else in the planet. And yeah. right now its habitat is only restricted to one kilometer in Amonte of Bradetu. So basically now this fish is in the very last uh, stages of its stage existence. Of its existence, very very few numbers left. Mm -hmm. And what awesome. I did with this my, with my last expedition was to start a campaign to to, to start save it. The, the, to, to to save it exactly. Yeah. yeah. So in Fogarashli Mountains, yeah. it's scientifically proven proved proved yeah. Yeah. that it's the rarest fish in Europe. Yeah. And some of the scientists are saying it might be the rarest fish in the world. In the world. Amazing. Yeah. Should I give you an impulse to make you fly? No. She loves me. Got it. That's so beautiful, but she doesn't want to open her wings. She seems to be licking the salt off my finger. Come on, off you go. Fly. Fly, little one, fly. Right. Okay, you're coming with us then, because we've got to go. So if you want to come with us, you're welcome to come with us, but we're leaving. Come, come and take my butterfly back home with me. Just acquired a passenger. A parasite, in fact, because it was licking the salt and the sweat from my skin. So my very own parasite. It's quite a nice looking parasite, really, isn't it? I mean, look, look at that. How beautiful is that? And you see, she even opened her wings for the camera. Very photogenic. Yeah, they are just some common, ordinary, you know, For us. Uh, side roadside plants, but they are exactly in the place where they should be. For you know, filling our our hearts with joy, you know, in this beautiful evening light. Such a long way without any water, just the water that we had with us. But now it's the it's cold, very cold water. Hmm. Oh! It's really interesting seeing these old wooden houses just abandoned, rotting away in the landscape while people are busy building their concrete and cement homes down in the valley. Uh, it's sad because we're losing these at a rate of knots. Also those haystacks in a field over there, which you can't see now, but they've got a baling machine and they're putting big circular haystacks all over the field. Uh, they're going around collecting up the hay. And the next door field, they've got these wonderful old haystacks that have been made by the families. And uh, that's going to die out. This landscape of haystacks and wooden houses will be gone in 10 years. There's nothing we can do about it, you know, it's just going to go. But we need to appreciate it while it's still here, so we can remember it and keep it in our minds. And maybe if we appreciate it enough, there might be a grant for people to continue to farm this way and to keep these places restored.
You are stuffing your mouth. Everywhere we go, it's called an oral fixation. Wild raspberries, wild strawberries. What's that? What are you about to eat now? It's uh, a bit uh, more wild than the others. Okay. It's a wild green, uh, small apple, uh, like uh, right, juicy plum. Juicy, bitter as anything, I'd probably imagine, right? But you're going to eat it anyway. I will do this experiment and just try it. And tell me what you think. Mm, the worm inside it is very juicy. Is it? Yeah. The worm, but his, uh, his the children not. Oh, the worm. Oh, yeah, yeah, the worm. The worm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the worm's nice. Mm -hmm. Good, you got half the worm. You're going to finish your worm? Yeah, I'm going to finish Or it. you're going to save it for later. It to, just to cook it into the sand. Just to make sure in case you don't find something to eat in half an hour. Yeah, I'll just I, keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it yeah. just for, to save it in my bag. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Look, I found something to eat. Something more. I think it would be quite a juicy Mihai, experience. Mihai, don't eat that. That looks because that looks seriously poisonous. Okay, orange Wait. is always a, a, orange. Orange and sort of wild, wild berries is never necessarily a good sign. But what do we have to lose? What well, your life? Lose? Only your life. Only your life. My life. Yeah, and in my case, a friend. Okay, so, so, just so don't, uh, don't, I, I do it for you, man. Yeah, I do it for you. Don't do it for me. There's some red ones there as well. They look nice. Actually, those look delicious. <laughs> they look delicious. I'm not going near them. Have <laughs> you? kilometers like 0 0.5 or 1.2 kilometers and that's it the first stop and then we die then we <laughs> will die that's into our final destination look mint mint flowers it's so refreshing Cranberries, 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 cranberries. Oh, look. Day two of the Via Transylmaniacs trip. <laughs> <laughs> the journey continues. Yeah, to Tachalasa Social. 22 kilometers, should be an easy hike, and we've got lunch with the mayor, haven't we? No, we've got lunch. <laughs> no, not with the mayor? He's just lunch. I thought the mayor was involved. <laughs> with each other? <laughs> no mayor. We are All right, guys, let's go. Let's do it. All right, come on, guys. Right. So you've just had breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Now you're eating Five minutes away from breakfast. No, it's here time I am. To start putting more things in yeah. your mouth. So, so watch it. Thank you. No, I, I, I have actually had a massive plate of food. Give me the stick. I just, uh, once again, I'm astounded at your ability to just keep eating. <laughs> I, 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 I keep myself alive. You know. You, you do. You do. Yeah. I, you have a lot of energy to burn off. So I, I realize yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. I'm on. I'm on nuclear uh, reactions. You are a nuclear reaction. <laughs> but it burns with apples and everything. Yeah. these very colourful stones. <sighs> Top of the world. Uh, eh? <laughs> Top of the world. Top of the world. 
the bottom of the valley and the top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Mihai, give us a tune that encapsulates this setting. What about this? Or this kind of song, you know, remember? Yeah. Bravo. Bravo! We are still in Bukovina, aren't we? Still? Yeah. 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 Are we? That's okay. You're not allowed to play that anywhere else, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's only it's only Bukovina. Bukovina, then. Okay. What we wanted to do is is walk and talk and chat about some of the key issues um, about how the future of tourism in Romania could shape up, how we could ensure that we protect the very best of the old while you know bringing people here to see the wonderful landscapes and beautiful, beautiful places. And, and we also meet the local people and hopefully we'll be able to serenade them with some music later. So that was Pro TV and Digi come to document our little walk. So it's gaining a bit of momentum and hopefully you'll encourage other people to come and do the Via Transylvanica because this kind of tourism is really great for Romania. It's non-invasive, it brings tourists with money to small local villages, cars aren't involved and also it encourages the local people to keep their villages pristine, to maintain the traditional architecture, that sort of thing, because that's what hikers and tourists want to come and see. Plus, of course, the forests, because if you're hiking through a forest, you want to see trees. You don't want to be wandering through acres and acres of clear fell. So I think this could be a very good solution for the future of tourism in Romania. I love that house. What do you think? But again, it looks abandoned, doesn't it? Indeed, it's a beautiful house, yeah. but I think there are many, many houses beautiful, like this one. How do we and resuscitate this, you know, get people back in the houses? Can we give them grants? I mean, maybe, maybe a grant to help people restore the house for tourism, you know, so we yeah, can do Airbnb it's, it's, it's or It's not easy, we have houses. to support them in a way, because the benefits we get by yeah. using these houses in the tourism, it would be for social, for community, yeah. for tourists, because they got a really, truly authentic experience in Romania by staying in a house like this. So in a way, as the Hotels Association, your remit is also to promote the areas, not just help the hotels, but actually by having a campaign to promote villages, you're automatically helping the guest houses and hotels in those villages. Yeah, because we have to consider any kind of form of tourism. And in my opinion, authenticity of Romania and this part of, of tourism is a niche and we have competitive advantages. We can put Romania on a map as a first trekking destination in Europe because we have uh, landscapes, we have mountains and also it's a way to make people stay in their countries because this is one big issue for Romania, the migration of a population. Because there is, there is quite a drain on, on young talent Absolutely. and we kids have... leave to go, I mean, well, to, to anywhere in Europe really. Especially from that. such villages, they live and work abroad. Coming back after six months and uh, invest the money they did uh, over there which is pity. They can stay here and do money here. Yeah. I think agro b and or, or agro would yeah, be nice, wouldn't launch a kind of, Let's of launch agro b, &B yeah. for and people specifically absolutely. in local villages where you can come and stay with a family and do that properly and, or have a room or have a It's a little not only about the room, it's barn. the experience delivered by this. With the families. And you are staying here, you are, you are in the middle of attraction. You don't have to travel so much. You stay just in the middle of, of uh, experience you get yeah. here. Yeah? yeah, exactly. More people should come and do that, actually. Yeah. You I know. hope we're going to see many. It would many be a great way to show the hospitality of the Romanian people because the Romanians are fantastic. In you know, regions like this, you know, in Maramuric, they're so hospitable, they're so kind. And we you... love to welcome people. Yeah, well, There's a it. concept in Romania Can... called Camera din Fața. Perfect. Where the people hmm. is putting their best room to the, to the visitors, not to them. They not don't that. use that room. 
is just for the visitors coming to see them. Very it's nice. a concept, I think it's unique in Europe, camera in fazza. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I have to say, I do do that at home um, because I've got the only ensuite room in my cottage. <laughs> uh, the others are two little tiny rooms. So whenever I have guests coming, um, I do tend to offer them my room and move into the other one because you don't share your room with them i share my room. i give them my room but no i'm not in it <laughs> That's, let's make that distinction very very clear <laughs> no we we move and they have the ensuite for the night I but think i think on, that's on, the way on our we should way do it. today yeah. let's interact with the people to see how they react well i think we're going to be doing that anyway. yeah we usually do let's when we go yeah. in a village and well, i'm hoping see we can serenade there i'm hoping yeah? we can serenade right, a few right. people later with your guitar uh, my guitar Take the flute. my flute i have my yeah. flute we've got the flute as well we're spoiled for choice me <laughs> Great. Onwards! Someone is a little bit hot. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm wearing linen as opposed to husky. I'm going to put the otter there so it doesn't get eaten. Dogs have a propensity for fluffy toys, and this is our mascot. I think Tachelasse Social is sort of directly across there, which means, yeah, that way. Which means that we're going over there, and then we're going to have to come back in a dog leg tomorrow through those forests and over those ridges which means we'll be walking mostly in the forest. Mm, and like um, it's probably quite a good idea to arrive before it gets dark in that case, wouldn't you agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> walking in the forest at night with as many wild animals here as... I got the dogs, so as you I'm have. Safe. Yeah, I know, but we don't have you tomorrow. You're not with us tomorrow, are you? Uh, or do you want to come with us tomorrow? No, no, I can't. You can't. Are there a lot of people around here still doing the crafts? Not really. Okay. You can found, but it, they are so expensive. Uh, yeah. I mean, clothes and... Uh, no, of course, oh. the real ones, not no, the Chinatown yeah, ones. The ones. So it's yeah. for us, because we are rich anyway. <laughs> so we can buy them. Speak for yourself. Oh, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not a, look, I'm not an international rock star yeah. like you. I mean, oh. you know, I'm a conservationist. We conservationists, as Alex knows, we're not rich. <laughs> Just because he's driving a nice car, don't think he owns it. <laughs> it's been lent to him by BMW or whoever is sponsoring him at the time. <laughs> we, we own nothing. <laughs> okay. How much of what you're wearing right now, Alex Gavan, how much of what you're wearing was actually given to you on a sponsorship deal? Let's take the sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, free? Free or not free? Mm. Free. Okay, watch. Free or not free? Free. <laughs> the hat. This, this was bought. That way, you bought. No, you bought the hat. But this is why. Oh, I but, love it. But this, this is why. This is why every man wants to be a man. Because every, every man wants to be a man. Every man wants to be a van. Every man wants to be a van. He's a conservationist. He's on everybody's list. He's a number one. He's a man. He's a player. He's a climber of every single Himalaya. He's a man. Every man wants to be Gavan. La, 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 la. Every man wants to be Gavan. And <laughs> oh yeah, is the one. I'm telling you this lifestyle. I'm sure you'll agree. He gets all his kid for free. And he gets all his kicks and he gets all his chicks for free. Oh, oh yeah. I think I can get you with this. <laughs> <laughs> we have a theme tune, ladies and yeah. gents. Hey, 
Wild raspberries. Yeah. Let's stop for a snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, like this one. You know, I yeah. actually yeah. felt them from the, the smell from, from before and directly took me into my childhood garden while I was uh, picking them with my grand grandmother. Yeah. They are not so big, yeah. but they are they have a delicious we taste. Take the mm. off a bear. Mm. No? Yeah, there could be a bear in there intoxicated with raspberries, just waiting for someone to come along. And um, yeah. I doubt. That's great. Hey, hi, stay with us. Okay. Let's go. The tree is crying because maybe it's too sad or maybe it's too happy. I hope now it's happy. Another milestone. This is a beautiful one. Look, hidden. What's the carving? Someone's hand. Okay. Colleen. Your it's hand. a heart, man. It's mine. <laughs> it's a heart. Where is the butterfly? I know. Where is the butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> that's the mushroom I looked up yesterday. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. orange one, that's ah, edible. The, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, it's edible. It's yeah. called a coxcomb uh, mushroom. Fungus. Apparently, it's absolutely delicious. Pick it. It's almost like coral. It's very, very nice. You have to cook it before you eat it. Maybe just take a little bit and leave it. Oh, crumbles. There's a problem with it, it crumbles. I'm going to take this much and uh, put it in the sample bag. There is a very nice specimen of a porcini. You have to break them off here oh, and leave the base in, in, the, in the earth. And because, it's good for eating. Because otherwise it doesn't regrow, okay? Oh. Look at that mm. spongy, absolutely beautiful. I'll try and find a bit that hasn't actually been munched. Um, it's a little bit old. It gets quite soft and soggy when it gets old. But um, smell that, it's a really gorgeous nutty flavor. Beautiful. Mm, like, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a, see like if I find a bit, that, from, bit that hasn't been bitten. Mmm, mm, gorgeous. Really good. Do you want a piece? Yeah. Have yourself. It's all good. And there's some protein in there as well. From the worms. <laughs> some animals. Just maybe. wait and see if we find a fresher one. Yeah, it's getting towards eight o'clock. Ah. So, uh, yeah, be one hour. Be aware of me after sunset. Where are you? I'm more worried about the bears. Still one hour? Yeah, we've got an hour to go. Oh. I, th I don't think it gets dark for an hour, so I think we'll be all right. Yeah. But I'm glad we're not walking that way yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speed up. Speed up. Dann ich heine nicht bando, nicht heine des Lugitor in Karutze man das gut, den Karutze still sackend, schei la 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 la, schei la la la, hey, schei la 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 la, hey, schei la 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 la. So I called up the captain, I said, please bring me my wine, said, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969, and still it was fun. 
voices are calling from far away. When you up in the middle of the night, just to hear them say, Welcome to the Hotel Transylvania. What a lovely place. What a lovely place. What a lovely place. Hello, Mr. Charlie, how are you? Sorry to wake you up, but uh, I think I'm going to breakfast now. Okay. And uh, oh. I just came with an idea. Mm -hmm. The son of the owner of this hotel, he's a tattoo artist. And uh, since we are on this uh, journey, I think that we should mark our trip with a tattoo. What do you think about that? A tattoo? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I guess it means we probably won't get lost again because we'll have our own markers. Small, right? Tiny, maybe five centimeters. Where? We decide, I don't know, maybe on the leg or maybe on the hand, whatever. I'm gonna I have mine on, if I do, if I listen, if I do do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have mine on my ankle, I think. Well, can I think about it um, at breakfast, yeah? Yeah. All right, okay. I'm gonna have a cup of, I need a cup of tea first, and, uh, and then, you know, I'll deal with life, okay? See you there. See you there. <sighs> now tell us how you feel right now. How do you feel, Andrew? You know, I feel like horses really changed the uh, horseshoes. Yeah. Do you think they feel good about that? <laughs> I think well, we're going to go, oh, that feels so good. Oh, left a bit. Whack, whack, whack. We're going to see now. driven into their feet. It's so nice to have a tattoo in the middle of the nature. Is, is he going to use a fresh needle? Because I don't yeah, want, no, I don't no, want no, all no, your no. germs. Okay, one eye, she's going to get the gems from you and from me. Or one I might want to go before me. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. I think whatever she's got, I've got, and whatever I've got, she's got. So it's probably <laughs> fair to say that it's <laughs> not going to make a lot of difference. You're the, you're the black horse here. Okay. You, you notice the use of the word horse. Yeah. Okay, Alex Gavan, if you had to have a tattoo of anything, yeah. okay, what would it be? Uh, maybe we have to leave out a Jurassic fish. But anything else? Sure, man. Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah. I mean, if you were forced at gunpoint, yeah, to probably. Tattoo, yeah. What would it be? Uh, well, apart from your Jurassic fish or my face. Yeah, it would be a mountain. Yeah. That will contain within it, it, uh, itself. Yeah. Herself. A tree, and the 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 tree will contain within itself yeah. an open hand. I think. Secretly, no, put a bit of thought into this. Angle, yeah, because this you is gonna be it. my next logo, man. <laughs> yeah. And the hand is like reaching out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the to accept lots of free stuff. To <laughs> <laughs> give, I take it. I'm only joking. So, I understand what Andrew means about feeling like a horse being chewed. But, uh, yeah, I'm bleeding a lot. So he was right about not drinking too much alcohol the night before as well. Whoops. The important thing is that I'm having it done right over my Achilles tendon, which I tore about eight weeks ago, if that. The doctor said, takes about four months if you're fit, which clearly I'm not, uh, to six months to get better. In fact, it would have been quicker if I'd broken my ankle rather than ripped the parts of the tendon. So anyway, it's it's also marking that it's right over it. So having walked on it for two days now, done nearly 50 kilometers and it's held out, uh, I thought I'd reward it by stabbing it thousands of times with a tiny needle. <laughs> Thank you, bud. <laughs> it's really amazing. Right, we now are all able to find the signs. We're well, moving to look for Via Transylvanica. Hello. Saruna. Bună ziua, bună 
Bună ziua! Bună ziua! Ce faceți? Da, așteptăm musafirii! Da. Da. Se pare că noi suntem în cazul ăsta, nu? Da, da, chiar mi-a văzut ne. ați căzut! Ne primiți? Da, cu mare drag! O, ce are? Care bine? Regina! Regina! Care schimbă? Dar pâinea asta e făcută aici? Da, la cuptor, am cuptor cu lemne. Wow. E proaspătă de asta dimineață! This morning, fresh! Da. Cât timp stați aici în fiecare an? De la 12 mai până la sfârșitul octombrie. Mm. Cum permite timpul? Dacă ninge sau, mă rog... Să vaci, oi, ce da. aici? Mm. Avem vași, vițăi, por și miei, da, oi, avem la stână. E frumos! Mm. Și aici ce? Afinată, afinată. Vă rog, serviți-vă și să... țuică fiartă. Sănătate! Bine ați venit! Bine ați venit! La mulți ani! Mulțumim pentru căzduirea! Da. Să mai veniți! Să mai veniți pe la noi! Doamne, așa... Să am veniți în părțile noastre! Să, să mai venim! Da, da am ajuns! Că... Da, la da. mulți ani! Da. Ce aveți bun acolo pentru noi? Ciorbă de fasole, de la noi, din gospodărie. Noi producem carne de vițări. Totul aici, aveți voi și legume peste tot, Absolut. și fasole, și oh. ceapă aici în jur. Și roșii, și tot așa. Ne e foame, să știți, ne e foame, să mâncăm stalbat. I think this might be the most organic meal I have ever eaten. Ever? Ever. I mean, every single thing comes from right here. The polinka is made here. The fasole grown there, the pigs are in the barn, bread. Uh, and the bread is baked in the oven right there. I mean, every single thing we're eating has been created within this sort of 100 square meter spot. Right. How, yeah, how, how amazing is that? Aici e carnea la ceamun. Foarte bun. Ia uitați. Poți să plec cu el? Da! Dacă mânca, să mâncați. Cred că intră în cu tot cu ceamun? Da! Absolut! Vă servim cu ciorbă, să vedeți. Ce ciorbă bună, mai de la noi. Fresh beans. Not rehydrated beans from a tin, but for a packet. Fresh beans that were grown within 10 yards of where I'm sitting. Ciorbă de fasole, the original version. <laughs> Pofte bună, gentlemen. Poftim, uite vă. Să vedeți să gustați, să vedeți cât e de dulce și bună. Într-o săptămână am avut 80 de persoane. Ne sună că numărul nostru de telefon e pus pe Via Transilvanica de domnul Alin. Noi dacă suntem aici și așa avem mâncare, le servim cu ce doresc. Asta e o masă de 25 de lei, ce ne-ați dat nou? Da. E o amintire să vadă cum se trăiește în părțile noastre. Ca lumea să vadă ce este și în România noastră frumoasă. Nu numai în America sau în alte parte. Și la noi, la România, e foarte frumos. Da. This is incredible. Two thirds of their year spent in this barn. And I think if they had solar or electricity rather than a generator, they'd probably be here all year round. Have a look in here. This is the bedroom. It's ridiculously cute. Just look. Little battery, little electric light. No TV, just a radio. That's it. And a clock. Not that you really need to know the time here. You're kind of going to sleep and waking up with a light, aren't you? These rugs, all handmade and handwoven. I feel like I've stepped into a time machine and gone zipping back a hundred years. And there are people still living like this in Romania. And, you know, to come and see it as a Westerner, you know, when people walk through here via Transylvanica and they see this, it's going to be such an eye-opener for people. And, and, and refreshing and enlightening and beautiful. And this is what we need to support. People living like this, who are making everything themselves, and who are happy and smiling. I mean, you see how happy those women are. And, and they love it here. They don't want to be anywhere else. They want to be here. And they would stay here all year round if they could. I'm quite jealous, I have to be honest. This, this, is, this is a place to come and write. As a writer and an artist, you know, it's just reducing life to the most simple maxims. You know, you get up, you work, you feed your animals, you make sure your vegetables are growing, you, you gather in your harvest, and, and you listen to the radio, and you write, and you think. An incredible way to live. You're closer to nature, you're closer to God, and ultimately, you're closer to yourself because you have this peace, this sort of spiritual centeredness that you get from living in a place like this. 
What have we done to the world? Just look what we've done. What about all the things that you played your only son? What about killing things? Is there a time? What about all the things that you said were yours and mine? Did you ever stop to notice all the children dead for more? Did you ever stop to notice, Charlie, the crying earth, the weeping show? Ah. Ah. That was beautiful, man. Charlie. I had a truly spiritual experience there. It was a, a kind of an epiphany for me, you know? Yeah. To realize. You, you, may, be, you may be the new Messiah. You lent a whole, whole depth of new meaning to that Michael Jackson song. You know, that actually... I'm not even sure Michael realized when he wrote it. That it's, suit, it's suited for this Transylvania yeah, way. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Dash viel bit kom nei my fost Kaun soldaten plinus vor Dar uite plomă fără rost Iar între noi Ca într-o vară nu știu cum Când unul vine altui dus Și rădăcind pe același drum În sens opus That I'm doing someone filled my glass up, but I think we ought to go, guys, because we've still got yeah. about 10k to walk and nice weather. And I have, as we said yesterday, we saw the signs it's not advisable to be walking through the forest at night. Cheers, we and to our cheers. lovely hosts, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. La <laughs> For my blisters. <laughs> so if you have uh, any swollen muscles, this is the way to do it. Yep. Pull it down. You know that. Well, you have snow when that happens, presumably. Yeah. You can just yeah. stuff them in the snow. Yeah. Yeah. But we haven't found any river do you along do the way. That? When you no. Get blisters, you don't get I never get blisters. Then. Of course you <laughs> don't. <laughs> Alice Kavan never gets blisters. Well, I <laughs> envy you. Yes, I'm got, quite obsessed to, I've got a few. to taking care of my feet because you know this can finish your expedition. So well, I know, I know. Yeah. It, it can. So you need so the you right can. kit. <laughs> you need the right kit. Yeah, but you know that coming from you, it's easy for you to say. Because the right kit doesn't cost very much if you're Alex Caban. <laughs> oh. You know, when I when I was a child, yeah, I used to uh, uh, learn by myself to swim. Yeah. 
uh, in Fogarashli Mountains in a river as deep as, as, as this. So you must be a very small child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you started swimming early, right? Really, I, I couldn't have other place. So I was going in this in this in the same river with, with Asperte. I was yeah. basically swimming with the fish. Yeah. That fish. That fish. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. In a, in a water no no deeper than this. Than this. Yeah. So that was your playground. Yeah. That's and why I only know how to swim like this. <laughs> I did not like this because yeah. I, I the it rocks. was not the the, 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 yeah. the, the enough place for it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I think we're ready for the last section of our trek. Tashalas Social. Cooled our feet, one more big push, and hopefully we'll get there in time for dinner. I believe that is our destination, gentlemen. Right on. The end of our walk. It's a great <laughs> amphitheater here. Huh? It is, it's good. Good for bringing people together. This is the living classroom down here, and they bring, I think they brought 10,000 children here in, in a matter of a few years to, you know, educate them about nature, the wildlife, wilderness. Mountains. I think it's a perfect place to do, to do so, to do this. This is what I mean yeah, about classrooms. You know, take the kids out of the classroom. Absolutely. And bring them somewhere like this. And then You're they in the middle really of learn. the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Charlie. Hey, hey. 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 Charlie. Hey. Thank, Thank you so much. Hey. 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 We've had three days of paradise, and <laughs> congratulations for doing it. Thank you very much. Bravo. What, Bravo. A, what a massive achievement, you know? It's only when you walk it, isn't it, where you just realize it, yeah. it's really long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for you, obviously, because you know, that would be 150 miles. <laughs> but <laughs> for, for, for me and, you know, some of us. It's like this trance of walking and walking again and again. You get the rhythm. Yeah, I get the rhythm. The nature, the landscapes. Oh my God, Book of Vina. We, we, had, we had so many adventures. The people were so nice. I mean, the villages where well, we stopped, weren't they? I mean, we, had, we, we, we were serenading the locals yesterday uh, for dinner with yeah. Mihai on guitar. Yeah, everybody talk about you. Everybody <laughs> on the village talk about well, you. Well, I tell you what, they, I, 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 I hope they didn't tell you one thing. We have a little surprise for you. Uh, and, um, Juana, where's Andrew? Right. Okay, so we have a little surprise for you here. Okay, okay. Aslop. Uh, we well, stayed I'm last here. night um, with, um, with these really, really lovely people. Their son was a tattoo artist. I okay. can testify it was before the Palinka, this. Yeah, we made this decision <laughs> so this before the Palinka. This means something already. <laughs> but, but, but just in case, because we did miss a few signs along the way, we thought that if we had the Via Transylvanica sign tattooed on our skin, then there was no way we'd ever feel lost again. So uh, what we've done, if I can show you here, is if I pull that sock down, there we have... Still David. there! Oh, David. David. <laughs> there we have oh. a permanent tattoo, and yeah. Andrew's got one there. Bigger even. Bigger even. Bigger even. Bigger even. On her... Oh, there. Is it really? Is yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It's really? Permanent tattoos. It's permanent. Permanent tattoos. Oh, oh, nice. They'll have it for the <laughs> rest of their lives. I've got... And all the yeah. Tattooed on my body till I die. I will for be buried rest, with this on my foot. For the rest of your life. For the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> for us it was easy because they were in front of us and we saw the maybe, sign all our way. Maybe we yeah. start an exclusive club for the <laughs> super fans of Via Transylvanica, you know? And, you, uh, and the tattoo is mandatory. And the tattoo becomes yes. mandatory. For the club. For the club. <laughs> okay. Precisely because then other people see it and they ask you about the tattoo and they say, What's that? And you go, well, it happens to be one of the most beautiful walks in the world. And it's good publicity. So maybe we can encourage more people. Ah, that, perfect, perfect. Let's perfect go get some place, water. Perfect people. Yeah. We, need water. <laughs> we need water. Let's go. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Sure. Oh. Even he's exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, we're all exhausted. You're auto. Yeah. <laughs> A mascot. Every time people tease me about this, you know, it worked again. We're here, we're safe, nothing bad happened. So clearly our lucky mascot worked in our favor once again. I dread to think what might have happened if I'd forgotten it. So Tibi, you've done the walk already, have you? Da, pentru moment e, e destul de ușor, sau porțiunea respectivă, Bucovina, e destul de ușor. Extraordinary, isn't it, the landscapes that you see. I mean, for, for me, seeing Bukovina like this, um, in the sun and, and you know in the middle of summer I mean wasn't it beautiful 
Mi-a plăcut foarte mult. Nu mai pot să văd asfalt, să aud mașini peste tot și este locul perfect ca să mi-aduc aminte că sunt viu și tot ce mă înconjoară a fost viu și pulsează într-un fel. Da, și pentru mine, ca, mai ales ca și compozitor, e esențial. Kids can do it. Um, bunicas and bunicas yeah. can do it. Yeah. It's not a walk that is too challenging for anybody, for families to do, which I think is really important, isn't it? Ah, dar, It's a route for everyone. It's a route yeah. for everybody. Zicea și Alex, o minimă pregătire și înștiințare, cum, ce să ții în rucsac, cum să ți-l organizezi, să știi cum e traseul, ce... exact. cum e presărat, deci este tot. ghidul pe site. Avem asta în ghid și avem partea asta că ducem scrisori la fiecare casă pe lângă care trece și da. trebuie să știe și să tenie, adică la ce să aștepte. But it's going to be interesting because there are so many different landscapes in this walk, you know, from Transylvania down to Drobeta. You're going to see all of the Romanian culture, really, you know, the rural scenery of Romania on this walk. Eu cred că asta este frumusețea, frumusețea traseului, pentru că uh, e Bucovina, Transilvania, după care se merge în partea cealaltă spre Harghita, de exemplu, mm. care iară este o zonă extraordinar de frumoasă și sunt uh, foarte multe sate care, care pot să prindă viață cu, cu acest proiect. Eu zic că o să prindă viață cu siguranță. Eu privesc din perspectiva specialistului în turism. Eu cred că în câțiva ani pe traseul ăsta vor fi Bun, mii, zeci de mii de persoane. După cultura noastră o să dureze ceva timp ca să se înțeleagă despre ce e vorba. Dar la un moment dat eu cred că, cred că o să ia avânt. Acum cred că e vorba, o să fie ani buni ca să... Trebuie să înțeleagă și cei care locuiesc pe unde trece acesta și ce înseamnă. How long do you think before it's done? Dacă merge cum a mers până acum, cred că în următorii doi ani mm -hmm. va fi gata parțial, mm -hmm. pentru că este foarte mult de lucru el yeah. cu amenajarea intersecțiilor foarte mult și ceea ce vrem noi să facem, pentru că proiectul nu este doar un drum, este un proiect destul de complex și ah, va... foarte complex. Yes, da, și o să dureze cel puțin 10 ani, cred că să ajungem să-l finalizăm exact cum ne-am dorit noi. We were wondering, in some places obviously you can't get anywhere near with a vehicle. You have to just walk. There's no access for road. So it must have been very difficult to get the milestones. Oh, we call them K-stones, not milestones. <laughs> How did you get these heavy stones into these locations? Because, you know, they were, they were a long way from the road. Uh, we were trying to work out how you up did this. Up on the mountains. <laughs> on the mountains, exactly. Yeah. Quad bike or, or uh, how? <laughs> Au fost duse și trase de cai, uh -huh. deci au fost da. legate cu, cu calul și au fost trase în unele locuri. Dar să știți că românii sunt foarte mari specialiști în a aduce pădurea la vale. Și odată ce aduci pădurea la vale, ai ajuns acolo cu ceva și așa au folosit tafurile, cum le zicem noi, au folosit taful ca să fie duse și bineînțeles a fost nevoie de foarte mult de muncă ca să le duci pe vârfurile alea acolo. Da, asta a fost o remarcă, poate, poate reușim să ne implicăm. Proiectul ăsta să, să ajute să păstrăm pădurile mai bine, uh, să fie altă, altă Noi avem făcut de câteva parteneriate cu autoritățile care ne-au promis solemn că, că o să facă asta. For me, what was very exciting, and actually for our forager here as well, was all the ciuperci that we saw, and the wild raspberries and the wild strawberries. It was amazing, wasn't it? Nici nu trebuie să mănânci mai mult decât apă, afine. Zmeură și oricum, da. sunt ciuperci. Important este că o tocană de ciuperci întotdeauna te prinde noaptea în pădure. Cred că dacă vrei să faci o detoxifiere din asta de 40 de zile, cred că e perfect să treci da. doar cu ceea ce găsești pe traseu. Da. Percepția oamenilor așa, v-ați întâlnit cu ei? Well, what was nice was speaking to the ladies at lunch today. And they've had Americans, haven't they? They had, they had a couple from Holland who slept in the Hayden barn, you know, spent the night there. They have a tent for people who If they don't want to walk any further, they can stay the night there um, on that view. So it's really nice all the way along the route. There are places you can just stay and see and, you know, it, even put up a tent if you, if you get too tired, I guess. Good. Well, we've got uh, the first bit of Via Transylvanica under our belts. The, the Via Transylmaniacs return, triumphant. <laughs> yeah. um, if people want to watch a little bit more of our adventures, This could just become the first episode. And then we do, you know, a little bit further down the road next time if we're all free. You up for, an, you up for another... And, and another... we have to prepare our songs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll write some more music in the meantime. Yeah. 
disfrutar a ti, amor. Con de león, se escucha. Tú atinger muy de cara. Alinta en una hasta. Esta idea de interés Que voy a poder y me le da un ser Y me motiva a ser más mucho Tú eres voz, ya que yo escucho Y es que me hará de demor 